the big why not question that many of us ask, is there another life after this? Or can those who have passed still be a part of our lives in a way that we can't see but that we can feel? My work, Parallel Universe, that I did for the Why Not exhibition for the Women's Caucus for Art Connecticut, is um, exploring the questions that I'm always searching to answer about my grief journey, about my self-growth, and all my questions about whether or not there could in fact be a parallel universe where those who pass on might coexist with us, alongside of us, and some people talk about the paranormal and being able to communicate with those beyond. So it was a natural part of my initial grief experience to try to connect to the deeper channels within the universe. There's a portal. Do we, how do we get to that other side? My work really is exploring the mysteries of the universe and my own life force and my role as, as a woman unfolding and growing and how my life is a parallel to that which happens in the natural world with rocks and rivers and trees. I was so happy to be able to share this piece which reminded me of, of novels that I'd read in the past about ancient Celtic lore, about the rock opening up and walking inside to this other world that really exists that no one else can see and certain magical aura happens and life is a great mystery. There's so much we don't understand. And after looking at this piece, I learned even more about myself and I see some of um, my creating of that um, karmic path. It became a great spiritual journey for me. And in the cave, and all I'm doing is photographing the reflections in the water yes. and thinking yeah. about the metamorphosis and all that we can learn about ourselves, as you were saying about when we look at that image and we, we ponder for, over time, it reveals itself, it reveals so much more about ourselves and about the world. One of our goals in the Women's Caucus for Our Connecticut is to share with each other not just our methods and our techniques, but the driving factors behind our work watching that transformation from the placid to the total dramatic. And we all go through those periods. You know, my grief journey is much like the waves of the ocean. You know, you know sooner or later it's going to come crashing in and then everything's going to go out and it's going to seem calm and then it's going to come back in. But that's life. You'll have a good period and then you'll go through a rough time. Even in the best marriage, you go through peaceful, happy, harmonic times and then you go through a period where everything is kind of crunching and the gears aren't so smooth. It's bonding. It, it's humbling. It makes you feel so connected to a bigger world of people out there. You don't feel so alone once you give yourself a chance to open up and share your concerns. This organization has been just so great at helping individuals feel proud of who they are in their own individual way. It's helped me, and that's why I'm here trying to give up myself to the group.